Everyone, in this video we're going to talk about lines, slopes of lines, equations of lines, lines that are parallel and also perpendicular. This is the slope equation of a line, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, where m represents slope. So I have two points here, 2 comma 5 and 4 comma 11. Where's x sub 1 and y sub 1, etc.? Let's call this one x sub 1 and this one y sub 1. And this will be x sub 2 and y sub 2. To find the slope of this line, it goes to these two points. m equals 11 minus 5 over 4 minus 2. y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. We can simplify this because we get 6 over 2, which is 3. So the slope of the line that goes to these two points is 3. Now let's talk about the equation of a line that goes to these two points. One of the formats for the equation of a line is point-slope form of a linear equation. Ah, oh, we got to memorize a whole new equation and stuff. Not necessarily. It's right here. It's right here. What am I going to do? I'm going to take that 2 off there. Take that 2 off there. See, this is actually still slope. I'm going to move that m to the right side. Equals m. And I'm going to multiply x minus x sub 1, this quantity, on both sides of the equation. So I'll multiply it over here. x minus x sub 1, and I'll multiply it over here. When I multiply it over here, it's just going to cancel. And when this is the equation of a line in what's called point slope form. It's the point slope form equation of a line. Why? Well, you'll have a point and you'll have a slope. Appropriately named, huh? So, Let's find the equation of this line in point-slope form. We know the slope is 3. We're going to put that there for m. And we'll just substitute the point x sub 1, y sub 1. And we'll put the, the 2 and a 5 in there. We'll have the equation of the line. So the slope is 3. We'll put it down. Here it is. y minus y sub 1 equals m times parentheses x minus x sub 1. Put the 3 here. That was the slope. Take this 2, put that right there. Take this 5, substitute it right there. 5, 2. There we go. This is the equation of this line in point slope form. The linear equation. That was another format. It's called slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form of the equation. y equals mx plus b. That's slope-intercept form. Where m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. That's the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So we're going to put it in that form. It's easy to do. All we have to do is isolate y. We'll distribute the 3, and then we'll add a 5 on both sides of the equations. We'll have it. So, let's do that. y minus 5 equals 3x minus 6. Then I'll add the 5, add the 5, and I have y equals 3x minus 1. This is the equation of this line in slope-intercept form. This is the equation of the line in point-slope form. But they're the same line. Now we're going to sketch this line. How do you sketch a line? Well, you got the two points here. Yeah, well, pretend you didn't see these points. Yeah, pretend they weren't there. And you were just given this. And you got to sketch a line. Well, one way to sketch a line is you just make an x-y table. You pick x values and you see what y is and you plot the points. That's simple, you know. If x is 0, 
Plug it in. 3 times 0 minus 1, you get a negative 1. Pick another x value. x equals 1. Substitute a 1 in here. 3 times 1 minus 1 is 2. And so on. You can go on and on and on. Plug in the 2. 3 times 2 minus 1 is 5. That was the point you saw up here. Um, but one method very popular with students is they use a slope and they use the y-intercept. When it's in this format, they start by plotting the y-intercept, which is at negative 1. Then they use a slope. Slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. But it's also called rise over run. So from this point, we'll rise three notches, and then we'll run one notch to the right, because this is actually 3 over a 1. So from here, rise 1, 2, 3 notches, run one notch to the right, got a point. Want to do it again? From this point, rise 3 notches, a 1, 2, 3, and then run one notch to the right, boom. And everyone, you have a sketch of your straight line. Put arrows on this if you want. Now let's talk about parallel lines. Let's find the equation of the line that's parallel to this line and goes to the point 0, 1. So find the equation of a line that's parallel to this line and goes to the point 0, 1. Parallel lines have equal slopes. All right, parallel lines run like this. They have equal slopes. Slopes are equal. So if this slope is 3, then the line parallel to it will also have a slope of 3. I'll put it in point slope form. y minus, okay, here's y sub 1, equals slope 3 times x minus x sub 1, 0. And if you want to put it in slope intercept form, this should be the 3. y minus 1 equals 3x minus 3 times 0, which is 0. Add a 1 on both sides. And y equals 3x plus 1. This line is parallel to this line. Want to sketch it so we can see it? Okay, it goes through here. Run one, two, three notches. Run one to the right. And this line will be parallel to that line. As you can see, they're running parallel. And lastly, let's find the equation of line that's perpendicular to this line. That goes to a particular point. I'll pick a point. How about the point negative 2, 1? So let's find the equation of a line that's perpendicular to this line that goes to the point negative 2, comma, 1, which is located, what, let me get this out of the way, negative 2, 1, what about right there? All right. Perpendicular lines, they have negative reciprocal slopes or opposite reciprocal slopes. What I'm saying is, if this slope is 3 over 1, change the sign and take the reciprocal. All right? So the slope would be negative 1 third. Slope of this line, m equals negative 1 third. Do you follow me? For instance, what's the slope of a line was negative 3 halves? The slope of the line perpendicular to that, two-thirds. Reciprocal, change the sign. If it's positive, make it negative. If it's negative, make it positive. So they're called opposite reciprocal slopes or negative reciprocal slopes. Let's find that equation. We got our point, we got our slope. y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. X minus negative 2, that becomes X plus 2. Distribute to negative 1 third. If you want to put this in slope intercept form, Y minus 1 equals negative 1 third X minus 2 thirds when you distribute that negative 1 third to the 2. We add a 1 on both sides, and I get Y equals negative 1 third X. Negative two-thirds plus one, you get plus one-third. Whoops. And there it is. Here's the equation of the line that's perpendicular to this line in slope-intercept form. Y equal to negative one-third x plus one-third.
And this is the point slope equation of it. Uh, Want to see it sketched? Let's see. The y-intercept is one-third. We should put about right there, correct? Y-intercept, one-third. Has that slope of go down one, run three notches. This line is perpendicular to that line. And that's it.